Hello guys and welcome to my April and May book haul. I have a total of 20, 21 books in here and like French as well as English but I'm missing like two or three because I, I lend them to my mother and sister because you know why I go to the library when you have just you know one next to yours. So yeah and I'm not going to give up any uh, summary on this book because I don't know anything about it myself and besides it will take too much time. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? First of all, the reason I got a Christie in there. She's one of my favorite authors and this one is a Miss Maple, Miss Maple Mystery. And I can't wait to read it because when I'm in slump and I don't know what to read, I got a Christie always got me off the hook. So I really like it. So I can't wait to read it and I like it because I was afraid as it is in second hand. I wasn't going to get this um, cover but I did get the one I wanted and in pretty good condition except that there is like writing in there if you can see in there. So I wasn't really happy about it but you know I'm looking yeah. And then I have two non-fiction books by Henry David Thoreau and Ralph Waldo Emerson. Both of these books are essays on about um, nature, living in nature, how money, industrialization, and um, people who care so much about material stuff uh, should note and about I don't know, it's a lot of spiritualism and stuff like that. I heard about it about them in a class of mine. So I'm really curious to read, to read both of these. I've actually started Walden or Life in the Woods by Thoreau and I'm barely five pages in but it's really really it, it uh, demands concentration, it demands uh, total focus so I think I'm gonna read both of these in a couple of months because I want to understand everything and it's going to be slow despite of them being really short. Then I have several by Garth Nix. It is a fantasy, I think it's a series, a trilogy as I'm not sure. So I saw it, I saw several on an article about strong female character you would like to recommend to, I don't know if you had children or something like that, I'm not sure. But I like, I like the, the blurb in there and decided to pick it up. But um, I know I'm going to enjoy it if not love it. But I'm, I've tried to read it two or three times, but it's not the right time, so I'm sort of waiting for the right time to read this one. Then I have The Saddlebag by a Persian author. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because, you know, I don't want to insult her or any Persian person. I, yeah, I'm not going to. So this is like a fable. There is, I think it, there is sort of magical realism. In there, and I, I first saw this book on Goodreads. Uh, it's a friend, a friend, a friend of four on Goodreads who read it and really trusted her opinion, and she gave it like five stars and uh, read about it. So I'm quite curious to read it. It's short and it's like historical fiction, and I like it because I discovered that she lives in France, in Strasbourg precisely, and also lives in London. But I, I love discovering author writes in English because there's a sort of connection with friends it made me, I don't know, I feel sort of closer to them so yeah then there is Shiverton Hall by Emerald Fennell and I read it, finished it, I read it like in one sitting it spoke me to death I, I'm not really into horror supernatural stories more fantasy sci-fi I would say even though sci-fi is even lesser so yeah, I read it in one sitting, really really enjoyed it and I would like to do a review of this or at least a discussion video because there is stuff that sort of made me think more than once of Harry Potter I haven't read much series so yeah So I think I'm gonna do a review of it but um, and it was really cheap well, This one is like a new book amongst all these second hand books So yeah, but one thing I had is that when I ordered it, this wasn't the cover that they put on the, I don't know, little screen. So I wasn't really happy about it. So I'm not like, I'm not gonna complain. Then 
and the race coffee will make you blood by uh, April Sinker. I read it, give it five out of five stars. I completely enjoyed it, it was amazing. It's like a coming of age and also young adults uh, book, but I'm sort of reluctant to label it as young adult because nowadays when you say young adult it's like either this the these utopian books or I don't know. This is a young girl, but I will say a sort of in a higher level, if I can say. I, I won't judge it for the books, but I, I just feel that way. Like if I compare it to Hunger Games or, or The Vagent, it's like, yeah. So, really adored it. I think I made a review or sort of batch review about several books. That's really easy. Then I have Othering Weight, which I bought in April, like in the beginning of April, for barely two euros. Like it was in the library, no, in a bookshop, sorry, in a bookshop uh, in France, in Dijon. It was like two euros. Okay, come on, this is a book in English, it only costs two euros. I'm gonna take it. I haven't read it yet, started reading it, but then, I don't know, shall see. Then there is. Americana by Chimamanda Ngochi Adichie. No need to present it for most people knows about her about this book. I haven't read anything by her but I'm really really looking forward to read her books. But I'm sort of taking it slow because I'm afraid once I've read all of the books which are only three in one collection of short stories I'll be like left with nothing. But I know I'm going to love her because I've heard several of her talks and I know I'm going to love her. Then the breeze, Burial Breeze by Hannah Kent. I read it in April. Uh, just as soon as I get it, I loved it. It was amazing. I mean, I would highly recommend it because for a debut novel, it was just mind blowing. Yeah. Then there is In Between Dream, Dreams by Iman Virji. She is a. a I don't know. Now, now she lives in Nairobi, in Kenya, but I don't know where she is, but I think she's a person as well. I saw it in Jen Campbell's video, one of her um, um, book hauls, and she said that this book was quite good, but sort of disturbing and had mixed reviews. So it was really interesting because I knew nothing of her, so I'm sort of looking forward to pretty because I like sort of thought provoking novels and reading a novel that. Uh, I know I'm going to get stirred or something like that. I'm not psych about it, but I just, yeah, looking forward to it. And then there is this one, The Lowland by Jumpala Hiri. And uh, this is just like, this is a book porn cover, guys. Just look at it. Um, I read in April uh, Interpreter of Maladies by her. Completely loved it. And uh, I borrowed these books from the library, but when I saw this, I was like, come on, I want to own it, not just to borrow it, so bought it, quite condition, can't wait to read it. And then I have eight book, French books. I have two by Elke Mene Schmidt, who is one of my favorite contemporary French author. And uh, I don't know if it's translated or something. I don't think it is. But um, yeah, loving. So can't wait to read them. I'm not going to see the title unless you speak French, so no points. And I don't think these one are translated. And then there is Francois Cheng. Uh, is a French author from Chinese descent. I first heard about him on a TV, uh, on a show on French television. So quite looking forward to reading it. I know nothing about him before, like a month ago. So can wait either. Not translated as well. And there is this one I also read. Um, uh, I had mixed feeling about it. And it's also a French author from Chinese design. So yeah, it was really interesting, but weird, so you might hear more about it in my batch review or April wrap-up. And then I have Yvette by Maupassant, who is one of my favorite classic author, French author. 
I completely love him. I've read most of his novel, I guess. He has all, only written like four novels. So yeah, can't wait to read it. It's really short and I know I'm going to love it because I love most of his work. Then there is Marianne J. And I think this one was translated by the three powerful women and can't wait to read it. And I've been... I've been um, meaning to read it since the beginning of the year, but every time I was like postponing, postponing to buy it for some reason, so now I have it. It's barely 300 pages, so might get into it quite soon. I then have two books by a uh, Congolese author, Alain Mabonku. Uh, Broken Glass, it's been translated, and there is Sonia Labutensi. Thai people has been translated as well. I read both of these, gave this one five stars and gave this one four stars. So I'm gonna do a sort of um, special video focusing on Congolese author because I'm French and Congolese and this month was my first time reading Congolese author so I was like proud of myself but also ashamed that it took me like 23 years to read my some Congolese author so that was it for my book haul I hope you enjoyed it and if you have read any of these books or would like to read any of the books leave me comments down below and see you next guys bye